everyone today i will be featuring two beautiful and classic shoes in my collection i pick both to compare for they have similarities similar in style in appearance sizing and more so if you are a shoe particularly low heeled slides or muse uh, lover this video is for you stay tuned sit back and relax and of course make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and turn that red bell on for new videos this is a continuous thing where we talk about luxury fashion lifestyle in my channel so without further ado let's just go ahead and start To start off, I'll mention the details of each pair. These are my Louis Vuitton Lock It News. They're in patent monogram canvas. The outsoles are leather with 4.5 cm or 1.8 inches block heels. And these are made in Italy. And this mule is crafted from Louis Vuitton iconic monogram canvas, like I mentioned. It has a wide front strap embellished with an LV circle accessory in gold tone metal which references the clasp of Dauphin bag. And since the outsole is leather, it's therefore durable and hard wearing. The soles are originally smooth and shiny and what you see now are the shoe sole protectors. You know me guys, I worry a lot about scratches, particularly deep ones that could potentially damage the soles of my shoes further and of course to make them less slippery so all my shoes have salt protectors i just send them to the doctor leather and they know what to do i've had this pair for over two years now i've worn them many times but not quite a lot so i have my share of good and bad experiences with them yes they are so nice timeless and I love the combination of the uh, monogram canvas with the block. These particular shoes, by the way, come in the Konya color as well. But the monogram is one of Louis Vuitton's most classic shoe designs. And you can't like, go too far off in this. It's a classic shoe type that you can wear to work, wear at home, and you can definitely go out with it with any outfit. Most importantly, the low block heel gives you a little bit of height with comfort compared with sky high uh, shoes. Block heels give you the stability without sacrificing fashion, and these are ideal for women who love wearing an elevated heels but want to stay away from the foot pain that usually comes with high heels or stilettos. So this particular heel uh, slides or mules are true to size and mine is 39 so my shoe size is 39 so this fits perfectly on me the retail price at the time i bought this was 50,500 pesos now i'm not sure about the price but what i am sure of is it has gone up because it's classic and timeless it's iconic so it's still in the website and in the stores now let's move on and talk about the dior dua hill slide these are my dior D-Ray heel slides and um, they're in black cotton embroidered with metallic thread and silver tone stress. So this has a hallmark and a timeless style. It comes in different colors and variations as well as seasons. I believe that this is the most expensive D-Ray heel slide from Dior. For sure, it's because the embroidered upper Christian Dior signature is embellished with strass or rhinestones all over, making the slide more special than the rest of the models. And this is, you know, very shiny. It's different, unique. 
it also comes with um, extra rhinestones in case of fallout I just forgot to take it off and show you but uh, you can see if you are going to buy this pair it has um, extra rhinestones I must also mention that both the slides have flat versions for your options so it has a block heel height of 4 cm or 1.5 inches and therefore half centimeter lower than the louis vuitton locket mule so a star christian dior's lucky symbol is engraved on the sole the upper insole is leather the Dewey Hill slides are made in Italy as well and the style fits to the size but Dior recommends getting a half size larger than your normal feet if you have uh, wider feet I'm on this side of the group so but I still got my usual size which is 39 because I felt comfortable with it when I tried it on the store I mentioned a while ago that all my shoes are with salt protectors but this one, this pair is the exemption. As you can see, I've worn this a lot without salt protector. When I brought them for application, I was told that if I leave them, I could only have them uh, back after two to three months because they were full at the time, which was a long waiting time for me. So I just decided to wear them without it. Anyway, this is such a comfortable pair of heel slides. I've tried wearing them for a whole day and my feet did not get hurt. At first, I thought it would require a bit of break in as what some people say because the strap is a bit stiff and brand new the pressure the weight goes down to the front but i honestly did not feel uncomfortable at all they're very very light and no issues at all but both slides are beautiful and will uh, never go out of style these type of shoes are one of the easiest to wear the only issue I have with the lock uh, mule is the weight this one is heavy sometimes my feet get tired quickly when I walk for long periods because they are heavy I'm still trying to get used to it up to now but other than that I feel that both pairs are really classy and stylish they are great everyday shoes but the Dior is more elegant looking and can be worn for dinner as well and some occasions while the monogram is for casual look only the Dior slides are much more expensive and hard to come by the retail price was 84,500 pesos last year I do love both these slides are the ones with lesser cons compared to their counterparts that I can think of both are high quality materials but i feel that canvas is more durable than embroidery which pair do i recommend in general size and style go hand in hand for example would you choose a shoe purely because the design looks pretty or because it fits your lifestyle because in the long term for me, I would want shoes that would fit well with my clothing and the occasions that I am buying for. Everyone's needs and preferences are different. So if I were to choose between the two, as if I don't own them yet, I'll pick the Dior heel slides. So let me know which one do you like more in the comment section. And I would love to hear your thoughts as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.